What's happening y'all, it's your man Earl. Today is day 287. As you can see, no certain topic on this calendar. But I do want to talk about pushing through. Pushing through because sometimes other people put their expectations on you. And they put their expectations on you and they are really projecting. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago about how people can project their failure onto you. They project their failure onto your life and therefore they speak negatively about you because they're actually looking at themselves as they talk to you. And why is that so important? Because some people, especially it's important because you have certain people that get into positions in life and these are normally your, your middle managers uh, your upper upper middle managers, and what happens is they spend their whole life to try to get into a position where they can look down on other people. So you as an individual who is striving to become, striving to achieve, striving to uh, become all that you can be, this is why corporate America can oftentimes be very toxic and be very hazardous to people who have a success mindset. Because what happens is they look uh, when you have a middle manager or when you have a manager that does not have vision, that does not have sight about themselves, then they're all they're all about is that position. And they will protect that position at all costs, even at the expense of other people. And so I say all that to say this. You have to be very careful. You have to be very mindful Uh, As you climb the corporate ladder that you don't sabotage yourself because you end up having to answer to someone who has no vision, someone who has no capacity for greater than, than greater than what they see in front of you. A lot of people, their whole aim in life is to get into a position not to become. And this is why a lot of people, especially now, and I know we're we're October uh, 13th, we're right in the middle of this so-called, you know, pandemic, scamdemic. We have the elections coming up. And guess what? The elections have been going on. uh, And people make elections and and people make decisions every day. So don't ever think that the election is only once every four years. No, you, you are in a mode of electing and making choices and decisions every day. Yes, we are all making choices. We are all making decisions and we are all electing. What are we electing? We are electing to do business. We're electing to give other people opportunity. We are electing to make choices and decisions based on what we believe is best for our friends, our fa- excuse me, our family and our future and our children. So don't ever think that just because you're not voting on a presidential election or you're not voting for the local mayor or you're not voting for the local police chief that you're not making elections. You are. And let me help you with this one. By default, if you're not voting, you're also making a decision. Okay? And the, and, and, and the decision that you're making is, I don't care. All right? And I don't want to get too far off into that, but that is a reality. That is a truth. So, October 13th, day 287 on the calendar, what are we talking about? We're talking about not letting other people who happen to be in a position of authority over you not sabotage you or speak negatively to you about you to other people to cause you to throw the towel in. Because at the end of the day, you decide how far you want to go. You decide how much you want. You decide the level of education you're going to go get. You decide where you live at. You decide what kind of car you drive. You decide how you raise your children. Yes, there are people that are racist. Yes, there are people who are discriminant. Yes, there are people who don't like you because of what you believe. Yes, there are people that do not like you because of how much money you have. Yes, there are people that don't like you because you are a man. Yes, there are people that don't like you because you are a female. And the list goes on and on and on. You decide how that list impacts you. Don't be upset when you come against people that don't like you. 
All right. Don't be upset. It is a part of life to encounter people that do not agree with you. It's all right. You cannot become discouraged because you come up against a roadblock. And notice what I said, a roadblock. A roadblock is something that was put there. Okay? This your man Earl, day 287 on the calendar. God bless you. God keep you. Peace. Peace. I'm out.